Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Jay and I present to you the Voyager TV show. Have you ever experienced your true ambition of curiosity? The very motive that makes ideas come to life or to be proven. In this episode, I'm going to show you something very intriguing that I found while exploring the ancient site in Tiwanaku, Bolivia. Whatever this discovery is, it's not something to be taken as just a simple fact. Please, let's take a voyage and see what I found. This is the ancient temple of Tiwanaku in Bolivia. You may have seen this site on plenty of documentaries or TV shows. The small area or the pit has multiple stone faces that are placed alongside of the walls. For the larger area on the left is the top part of the ancient temple which has the sun gate on top. Most of the ancient site here is surprisingly still lying beneath the soil and laid in ruins. Slowly, the site is being uncovered and reconstructed where a lot of discoveries have been made, but I believe there are things that are still yet to be found. The heads and faces along the wall with a stone figure in the center of the semi-subterranean temple have theories but no exact proven purpose as a lot of this site was reconstructed over a long period of time. The sun gate, which is also theorized to not be in its original location, can still tell us a lot about this ancient place by the inscriptions written in stone. Although, I believe there is one thing that is hidden in plain sight. There is an engraving in a stone that will give us multiple clues. I believe this was a map or a layout of the Tiwanaku Temple. On top of this stone cylinder in the ground, you can see that it has engravings on it that is unperceived. You can slightly see the markings. I then went to superimpose this photograph to have the engravings become clearer. I then started to draw every line I could see. There are some engravings around the edges and some distinct shapes in the center. A strange cross with lines that cuts through a rectangle with boxes. There's also a circle. Let me quickly show you with the lines I drew, off and on, so you can see. Here is another photograph of the same stone at a different angle. I also superimposed a layer over it so we can see it clearly along with me tracing the engravings on the stone. It's eerily similar to the other photograph sketch showing the same type of shapes. This can't be a coincidence, and there must be a reason for the specific alignment of these shapes. And here is a third photograph with the same adjustments I made to see the engravings. The smaller rectangle and the larger rectangle almost appear to be comparable in size to the subterranean area and the larger pyramid top. With these alignments in mind, we can also see that there are other specific structures where the circle and the square in the left is located. What puzzles me is the random engravings on the right hand side. From each photograph, they all appear to be random lines. They could be incompleted engravings representing other structures that are unknown to us which disappeared through time. They could also represent an event. Primitive ways of showing movement in a two-dimensional drawing which can represent the weather, astronomical alignments, or events that the ancients saw in the heavens above. Are these lines telling us something that has happened in the ancient past? When one is searching for an answer, you must always be open to all possibilities. Was this a petroglyph, a random piece of artwork, or an ancient map of Tiwanaku carved into stone, hidden in plain sight this whole time? I wanna thank you for taking the time to speculate and to voyage to see what I have found. What do you think it is? Thank you, everyone.